standing here on a little bridge overlooking a, a beautiful beach on the uh, Baltic Sea coast. It's August, this is uh, Europe's summertime, so everything's very green and fresh and um, the beach is looking really nice, the Baltic Sea. And uh, the most beautiful thing on the beach is uh, Lord Chaitanya's Sanctum party. Um, this is how we advertise our events our summer festivals. We, we come on the beaches, we go through the beach towns, and we distribute invitations to the people. We have a big Harinam party. We average about 10 or 15,000 invitations every day. And they're very nicely done, very professional, and the writings, the description of the festival is there. We have a couple of very well-known personalities um, who are inviting people. Their quotes are there on the invitation. So we don't see them on the ground. People actually keep them as mementos of their summer vacation, I find. And um, we're advertising our, our festival of India, our festival of the spiritual world, through the medium of Harinam Sankirtan. This is the original way that Lord Chaitanya began advertising his movement. This is the original marketing, you could say. Uh, going out with uh, devotees of pure heart, uh, chanting the sweet holy names of the Lord, dressed very nicely like in Mahaprabhu's times, uh, dhotis and kirtas, chaudars, saris, etc. One time Prabhupada said, before you came to Krishna consciousness, you were unhappy, you were miserable, you were not dressed nicely, you were dirty. But since you've come to this movement and you're chanting the holy names and you are dressed in dhotis and kirtas and saris, he said, you look just like you've come from Vaikuntha. So our whole goal is to give people the Vaikuntha experience. And it begins, their first view is of Lord Chaitanya's Sankatan party. Um, again, this is the original formula. Uh, as time has gone on, there's been various innovations of, um, of, of spreading the message of Krishna consciousness, and that's good. As time goes on, uh, devotees have to learn to innovate without compromising our tradition, innovate in such a way as to attract people to our festivals, to our temples, to our, to our homes, but all those innovations should never be at the expense of the original marketing, which is the Sankatan party with drums and kartals and uh, trumpets, and you see the old pictures of Mahaprabhu's Sankatan movement. Why is it so attractive? Because it gives people an immediate experience of what the Maha Mantra is. This whole movement is actually based on uh, disseminating the holy names of Krishna, these 32 syllables. This is the Yuga Dharma. So people can read about it in the newspaper, they can get a pamphlet, but when they see the effect of chanting in the chanters, that that's really convinces them. And if you look closely at this Harinam party, everyone's smiling, irregardless. The young, the old, they're smiling. We come from 14 different countries, we speak so many different languages. But this is a universal process. And when devotees are chanting Hare Krishna, 
it brings forth the joy of that heart. It brings forth the bhakti. It brings forth the happiness of connecting to Krishna. And people need to see that. There's a saying, seeing is believing. <laughs> we don't necessarily use that in our movement. More important for us is hearing from authority. But it can also be used, seeing is believing. What's the result of chanting Hare Krishna? You become happy. It was Prabhupada who coined that phrase, chant Hare Krishna and your life will be sublime. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Nowadays, devotees say, chant Hare Krishna and you'll be happy. But the original phrase from Prabhupada was, chant Hare Krishna and your life will be sublime. Sublime has a more deeper meaning than just being happy. It's, it, it's, it's a deeper spiritual happiness that comes from connecting with Krishna, who's a reservoir of all happiness. So when people see that, they want to know more. So they get the invitation, they see the effect of chanting Hare Krishna, they see this big group of, of people from all different countries of the world. Some of those countries are at war. The problem is that we have the United Nations as a spiritual world. Why? Because we we understand we're all part of one family. All of us, the whole world's part of one family. Krishna's family, because he's the seed-giving father of all living entities. So we give people this broad vision, this United Nations of the spiritual world. They see how we're cooperating, living together in harmony, how we're happy, how it's not just some sentiment or some emotion, it, it's based on uh, a deep philosophy. And that's why as we go down the, the street, or the beach or the street, we're distributing books. We come by, people get an impression, most people are impressed with what they see, and then our book, book distributors come and with a smile they offer the people Isha Upanishad or Krishna, Krishna the Reservoir of Pleasure or uh, Bhagavad Gita, uh, teachings of, of Queen Kunti. It's a perfect process. And they read a little bit and they talk with their friends. Today's the second day of our festival here in the town, so the word is out. I see people, you know, they're nodding their heads, talking to their friends. Actually, we can know that many people came to the festival yesterday because their children still have the face paintings, still have the gopi dots. It's a very popular uh, tent at our festival where the children or the mothers come and get the gopi dots. So we're, we're chanting down the beach and we're seeing, you know, like families with the, uh, the gopi dots on. <laughs> so that's just a sign the festival is a success. So Hari Nam Sankirtan, the original formula. And it, why does it work? Because it's a personal touch. I found in Christian consciousness that it's the personal touch that really melts the hearts of the people when they meet a devotee. For instance, I distributed books for many years, 11 years actually, and I usually did that in Europe. I was in Spain and Italy and France and Germany and speak any of the language. But I had a strong desire to 
share Krishna consciousness and let Prabhupada speak to these people through his books. And my mood was very positive, upbeat. So what happens is the people, really they buy the book because of the book distributor. You asked Vaisheshika Prabhu, he wrote that book, Our, Our Family Business. I'm sure somewhere in there he said it's that personal touch. The people buy the book because of the book distributor. So if we can come out and be with the people, come out of our homes and our apartments, even come out of our temples, and just be with the people and let them mix with us in many varieties of ways. Uh, through Harinam, through festivals, through riding on the bus, if you just start up a conversation and tell them about Krishna. It's the personal touch because devotees are different in the sense that Chaito, Darpan and Marjanam, to some degree, the heart is purified and the soul shines forth. Prabhupada said that the soul is more brilliant than 10,000 suns rising. So people need devotees association. And that's why we come out in Harinam. They see us, they come forward, they buy the book, they take the invitation, and we initiate the whole process. It's like planting a seed, and that seed will mature in due course of time. So we, we like to be out here. This is our favorite place. <laughs> out here, in the modes of nature. <laughs> we don't care, because we're contradicting the modes of nature by bringing the atmosphere of Vaikuntha to the beach to the city streets, to the vacation spots, to the... We go everywhere with the Harinam party, and people love it. And we'll see tonight thousands and thousands of people. The proof of the pudding is in the eating. How do we know this is the best uh, policy for introducing the Sankatan movement? Because people respond. They come to the festival, they buy the books, uh, they, they come to see us. So. The, the proof of the pudding is in the tasting. So tonight we'll see thousands of people come because Lord Chaitanya's Sankirtan party is the perfect formula for the age of Kali, to come out and chant. Other t again, other types of innovative preaching, marketing and uh, internet and um, posters and billboards, that's all good, but it, we should keep that, the Harinam party going for the next 10,000 years. Because that personal touch, the hearts of the devotees will initiate Krishna consciousness within the heart of the people. All glories to Sri Krishna Sankirtan, all glories to the chanting of the Hare Krishna mantra in all the streets of the world, in all the 14 worlds. Hare Bol, all glories to Prabhupada. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare, Hare Rama.